said. Hello. Hello to you too. Uh, I don't mean to be rude now, but would it be all right if I sat on that bench? You could. Well, indeed I could. However, what I had in mind was, uh, uh, you know, me sitting on the bench with you out. No, really, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but the thing is... What thing, Victor? What is this thing you speak of? What I'm trying to say is that I've been walking and hopping and hustling from corner to corner all day long. All I ask for is merely a rest, and the bench you're sitting on is quite appealing to my aching body. Oh yes, well, I do see that you're tired, there's no doubt about that. But at the moment, I simply don't see any point in offering kindness to anyone, strange or familiar. Gifford, Gifford, old friend, whatever is the matter? Well, I feel as though my right to give to others, to let someone else know that I care about them, has been taken away. Whatever makes you think that? Whether it's been Nancy, Jude, Brooke, or Roger, anyone who I have given anything, usually to great extents, have either simply taken my gifts without comment, or ignored them. Oh, they could have declined, at least that it would have acknowledged my actions. But no, all they receive is apathy. Not from me, you don't! I've shown my appreciation for your kindness in the past, and we've known each other for too long. But does that really matter? If others feel no obligation to accept my offers, then I feel no obligation to offer. Whether it be requested or not, I give no gift. Gifford, be reasonable! All I want to do is sit on that bench. What, do I need to pay you now or something? That would be acceptable. Have you no heart at all anymore? Only a heart that pumps blood and keeps me alive. <laughs>